Hi guys, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School. How are you guys today? Now today we're going to look at a function in Photoshop called Fit Image. Now this is not exactly the same thing as image size and I'll tell you why. Basically I'm doing this tutorial because a lot of you asked me after the how to create actions video tutorial. Um, I actually did an example in that using image size. Now a couple of you asked me, well what if I want uh, my both my portrait and landscape photos to have the same pixel width on it on the longest edge of the photo. Now, of course, you cannot do that using image size because that will uh, only affect it. Actually, it'll affect only the width or the height of your photo. So, if you have uh, portrait photos, well, if you you set 800 pixel width, um, the width of the photo, whether it be portrait or landscape, will be 800. So, you'll have different sized photos. We don't want that. We basically want the long edge, whether it's portrait or landscape, to have <coughs> sorry to have the exact same. Uh, width or height. So, how do we do this in Photoshop? Before I show you how to do it in Photoshop, you know how I like to compare with Lightroom. So, I'll just show you briefly how it's done in Lightroom. And it's a lot easier in Lightroom because it's basically a function that's already in there. Let me just show you briefly. So, I selected all the images here down here uh, to export. So, it's a bit like creating a, an action. Uh, batch action. I just click on the export button and the fourth box down is called image sizing. Now usually by default it's unticked um, just so that it keeps the same uh, image size but if you want to resize your image just click on resize to fit and you'll have this first drop down menu. Now the first option within height is, is exactly like image size in Photoshop which is not what we want right now. What we want to do is use long or short edge. I usually use long edge. And you only need to type in the number of pixels or if you want centimeters or inches um, of the longest edge. 800 is usually what I do to send to friends or whatnot. Uh, and that's all you need to do in Lightroom. And uh, you, you don't have the problem of creating an action or anything like that. Then you just click on export and you're done. All your images will be exported. Your portraits and landscape photos will have their longest edge at 800 pixels. All right, let's get out of Lightroom now, go into Photoshop, and let's see how we can do that here. All right, you can do it, and it's not that complicated, but if you want to uh, do it for a batch of images, uh, you'll have to create an action. Now, if you're not sure how to create an action, go into the page of the uh, the classroom page on Yannick's Photo School and look into the Photoshop tutorials. Probably one of the last uh, ones down there is called How to Create a Photoshop Action, and go through that tutorial, and you'll be you'll easily be able to integrate this function called Fit Image into your action. Now, let's look at this uh, uh, landscape photo here, um, and uh, Let's see how we can make this long edge. So all we need to do is go into File, Automate, Fit Image. All right. Now what's really important if you want the long, uh, your width and height, because here it doesn't say long edge or short edge or or whatnot. It basically says width and height. What you need to do if you want uh, the width and height to be the same for both your landscape modes, uh, your landscape photos, and your portrait photos. Um, you need to put the same number into both. All right. Now, what f this it will not create a square image. It won't squish anything. It it basically constrains the proportions of your landscape and portrait images so that the longest edge will have this value. All right. So it's important to put the, the same value in both so that it affects the height when it comes to uh, portrait photos and the width when it comes to landscape photos. Now, just click OK. Now, to, com to confirm what I'm saying, let's just go into Image, Image Size, and you'll see that the longest edge, which was uh, the width, is now 800 pixels, and the height is shorter than that. All right. Now, let me show you how it works on a, a portrait uh, orientation photo. Same thing, File, Automate, Fit Image. We put in 800 pixels already. Bam, image, image size, and this time it's the height that was affected because it took the longest edge and added that value. 
And it's that simple. It's a quick little thing, but not a lot of people are aware of this function in Photoshop. They're just used to image size. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, quickie tutorial on how to um, make sure that you're both your longest edge of your photos when you're doing a batch process um, is the dimension that you asked. So that way your images are relatively all the same size. This is Yannick Chauvin signing out and see you soon. Bye-bye.